YouTube, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be going over a couple really easy ways you guys can be making coins at the moment in this game, as well as expected content in the next couple days. But before we get into all that, we got to talk about content today on Monday. If you want to have millions of coins in EAFC like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Teddy at checkout to get 6% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content to Monday was pretty solid. We got our upgrade SBCs as expected and we got some showdown SBCs. No supply with any kind of, I mean, there are no Champions League marquee matchups to be had, but no supply there like there was last week. That hurt a lot of the trades that we did last week because that brought supply on the Monday, which you usually do not get. But the showdown SBCs, Kulisevsky versus Modric, um, they're not crazy good value and their cards really aren't that special we all know spurs are probably gonna win if we're being honest i mean i don't think anyone would expect otherwise but like even with the upgrade looking at some of these cards it's not that they don't look that crazy so nothing too special there with those showdowns but the spc that is really interesting is the centurion crafting upgrade we got this last year as well with the centurion promo i forget what we got exactly it was a hundred of them i can't remember if it was like a player spc i think it was a hundred times you would do it but when you finish it it crafted a player from the objective but this one it's just a three rare gold player pack it's 11 squads so it's a gold upgrade but it's better you get an extra gold rare and it crafts an objective it does not lead to a player but it does give you a bunch of packs if we go take a peek i believe it's in S milestones yes yeah, centurion crafting upgrade you get a bunch of packs from doing this toward the end 83 times 3 84 times 2 80 plus times 10 and when it's completely done you get 100k pack so that's pretty awesome. A lot of people are doing it and we have seen gold commons go up a decent amount. It's whenever we get a good upgrade, gold commons do really good. I think Sunday they were like 300, maybe 350. And at the moment, I haven't seen how much they're going for. I'm guessing it's they're up a decent amount. Let's see, 450, 450 instant, 500 instant as well. 500 instant so 550 i wouldn't be surprised if they do continue to rise if you want to pick some up just to trade with them you can do that but i am doing other stuff which we'll go into but if you are trying to craft the centurion upgrade you're probably going to want to just purchase these gold commons now because as this week goes on we're probably likely likely not getting much supply until thursday so if you're trying to do the centurion upgrades try to get the gold commons sooner than later or just wait because it's out for i think almost like three weeks the upgrade so just wait until like the weekend around squad battle rewards when there's a lot of packs being open supplying gold commons so that is the centurion upgrade now let's talk about our investment i posted one video while i was gone i probably should have posted more but i was in san fran and the time zone change was weird because i would have to upload the videos around dinner time or at night but at night we were going out i had a great time in san fran by the way a lot of fun but the one video i did post was all we really needed unless you wanted me to post another video saying the same thing i could have said sunday flips probably should have mentioned that i did it in the vip discord but the investment was fodder i told you guys to buy fodder that is the one video i posted this weekend and the main fodder that i specified was 85s they were the safest one because we had a team of the week player pick sbc requiring them every single day and we had more sbc set to come we bought 85s for below six thousand coins and it was extremely easy to do pretty much all weekend here we go saturday i think i uploaded the video maybe on friday and they were just chilling they've been chilling at 6k saturday you had all day to buy and then yesterday on sunday boom skyrocket today on monday boom skyrocket so they're doing really good and i don't know if they're really gonna stop rising especially because the hero spc that came out on sunday it refreshes again on friday so it's gonna kind of hold the value of the 85s but we could be expecting some more spcs to come like last week on tuesday we got an 84 plus double that required an 85 in the squad so 
More SBCs potentially requiring these 85s. Also tomorrow on Tuesday, the team of the week player pick that requires an 85 refreshes again for the last time. So just another SBC requiring 85s. If you guys bought fodder, it's doing really good. I did not call out the 84s. We, I think there were like 1700 coins and I said I wanted them closer to 1500 and uh, I should have just bought. We should have just bought because they were 1800 coins. I wanted 1500 and I mean, as you can see, wow, they went nuts. They rose pretty much the same amount as 85s did, but obviously 84s are cheaper, so you can buy a bit more and the tax isn't as much. So 84s were definitely the best rating to do uh 86s we said i think 10k they're 13 87s i maybe we said 15 i'm not sure but all this fodder is rising and i expect it to continue to rise just because we have all these sbcs that are currently out a lot of player sbcs right now if we go check everything that's out at the moment we have player sbcs we have a hero sbc that can refresh again on friday team of the week player pick refreshing we have odegaard we have martha we have pirlo we have Julian Alvarez there's a bunch of player SBCs as you can see but we still have these cards too we have a Vidic icon that's supposed to come we have a Jude Bellingham apparently I, I'm I don't know when the Jude Bellingham has come I didn't look into it enough but people were saying Jude Bellingham is, is going to come out this week people were saying Mo Salah is going to come out this week so a lot of potential player of the month SBCs to be keeping an eye on I don't I probably should have looked into it before I did this video because Sun is out for another 13 days. Liao's out for another 13 days. So I'm not too sure when the Salah player of the month could potentially be or the Jude. People are saying Jude or Griezmann, but it may have been confirmed that it is Jude Bellingham. So a lot of SBCs potentially for high rated fodder and there's not too much supply expected until at least Thursday. So if you have your fodder, just keep lazy listing it and it's going to depend on kind of what we the high rated fodder you can hold until more like wednesday or thursday ish the lower rated fodder like 83s 84s 85s it's going to depend on what we get for content tomorrow because if the team of the week player pick is gone it's the last time it refreshes and no other sbc comes out for the low rated fodder i'm probably just going to sell it tomorrow on tuesday but like i said i don't know what we're getting for content tomorrow so it's going to depend on that now with fodder we have been buying still it is up in price but i have still been buying like i mentioned there's a lot of sbc's set to come out and there's still a lot of sbc's that are out at the moment so as you can see right above me i said this on stream 83s these these are so easy to trade with you can see right here this is one listing this isn't even 183s that i had listed because i have some 88s and some other cards i got 28 sales at 1200 coins you can get sales at 1300 but if I can get sales at 1200 and I can keep doing this every 100 sales, I'm making around 250 coins. So every sale is around 250 coins. So every 100 sales, I'm making around 25 K. So if I can just keep doing this and keep my transfer list full with these 83 overall cards, it's just constant profit. And they're super easy to win for 900 coins on bid 850. 850 is probably a bit more of a struggle, but as you can see, 900, any bid you'll see on 83s is probably 900 coins. So I like these 83s. It's pretty safe going into tomorrow on Tuesday, and you should be able to sell a bunch of them for 12, 1300, maybe if we're lucky, closer to 1400 coins tomorrow on Tuesday. So 83s, really easy. I also mentioned some high rated fodder, as you can see above me, 88s. You can get them for around 23k. They're 2475, pushing 25k at the moment. I've been picking them up for like 23, 2325 on bids and snipes, and I've been listing them up for 25,500 coins, making about a thousand coins per card, just lazy listing. But if we do continue to get some of these SBCs, we get Vidic, we get a Jude Bellingham. So Jude Bellingham could make a lot of this high rated fodder do pretty decent. So I've picked up some high rated fodder i've been doing a lot of 83s a lot of 83s because it's just really simple and that is fodder how i've been making coins you can just see it right here i mean i'll just slowly list all these cards up that's it i, I could list listing one by one you get more sales but i'm just gonna hit relist all because i'm a little too lazy to do that right now i want to make sure they're all 1200 because it's just i get more sales keep doing it Relist, 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 relist. Okay, so, and here are my 88s, as you can see, at 25.5. I bought a decent amount. Some at 25.75 as well. And 
boom, real assault. Now that we're at these dokus, I want to mention something, the market. Um, market's rising. I also, if you are in the VIP trading discord, I posted Sunday flips. If you want to join my VIP trading discord, you just have to sub to my Twitch channel. If you have Amazon prime, you can subscribe for free. The market is rising a good of a great amount. It got really low on Sunday. I always tell you guys, the market low is Sunday. You want to buy your team. You want to make coins. You buy meta cards on Sunday. Diaby, how much was he yesterday? Uh, I got to do it like this. Okay. So this is Sunday night. It's kind of like Sunday night. You hit a you hit a nice low. It's either squad battle rewards or Sunday night. So Sunday night, how much is Diaby? He's 11.5. I tipped him. You had like eight hours to buy. It was 11.5. I said, try to get him for 11K. As you can see now, he's 14K. He was up a bit more. He's down a little bit. Yeah, he was almost like 14.5. So he's down a tiny bit, but they're up a lot. If you want to take your profit on meta cards, if you want to take profit on players in your team, you could potentially do that before content drop tomorrow because tomorrow on Tuesday, if there's no content, if content's not good, the meta cards are just going to keep rising. If content brings supply, content's decent, you could see some stuff come down. Like when we got the 84 double on Tuesday, it caused a little bit of panic because people 84 double sell someone like Diaby, it allows you to go craft that SBC. Another thing is tomorrow's Halloween. It's a holiday. In the past, EA have released an SBC. Shout out to Finley for calling it out on stream. They have released an SBC on Halloween. I think last year it was spooky marquee matchups. It was spooky marquee matchups last year and it brought tradable supply to the market. So if we do get some sort of tradable supply, it could cause some cards to come down in price. So just be careful there. Just know if you are holding into content drop, you're risking, you're gambling, hoping nothing comes out. If nothing comes out, your cards will probably just continue to rise. A lot of these cards have risen a lot from their Sunday low. I mean, you, you check pretty much every meta card you look at, the Sunday, Sunday market low, it's just risen since then. We just hit the time change i think when it starts to show yeah this yesterday is now technically monday it's 801 so time has changed i gotta click yesterday now when we look on footbin so someone like gayoro was about 260 and she's now 310 so cards rising you can see it anywhere i want to mention something as well this was kind of interesting uh messi and bon mati they won the ballon d'or and bon mati went from like 160 to i think 220 she also got leaked to be in the centurion promo and it was just crazy ballon d'or hype plus next promo hype 160 went all the way to 220 for a few minutes it was kind of crazy messi went from 60k all the way to 90,000 coins you can't see it because it was really quick it was just weird today what happened it was just really quick 60k people saw what happened with bon mati Messi ended up going from 60k to 90k when he won the Ballon d'Or. was weird, but I wanted to share that because I thought it was really interesting. Uh, what else do we have? There's Messi. I want to mention maybe out of packs, I told people they could pick up a Bellingham because Jude Bellingham is probably getting a team of the week on Wednesday. I mentioned him when he was like 88k, try to get for 85. If you can still get for below 90k, it's probably not too bad. I'm I was thinking about buying him and using him for my team. I might just buy him just one as an investment now because for my team, it doesn't really fit. I've been trying to figure it out. Doesn't work too much, but that is the Jude. Potentially sell your cards before content drop tomorrow. Maybe some sort of Halloween SBC. Sunday flips did really good. Like I said, in the VIP Discord, sub to my Twitch channel. You have Amazon Prime. You can subscribe for free and join the VIP Discord for free every single month. Let's talk about expected content now. So some leaks tomorrow, Tuesday. Um, we have a few player SBCs that are leaked. So with Foot Sheriff, he I don't know what this is kind of random. Lekka getting an SBC. Maybe that comes tomorrow. We have Vidic supposed to be getting an SBC. We have Watkins supposedly getting an SBC. Uh, I don't know where Vidic is right now, but he's, we're still waiting on him. And EA also tweeted out their upcoming content. We got the Showdown SBC, Foundations. I don't know which Foundations we're getting. Should be getting an Icon SBC this week. We should be getting Dynamic Duos this week. Eric the Vizay Lali. Okay, so that just answered my question from, from earlier. No, Premier League Player of the Month, La Liga Player of the Month. So Jude Bellingham is going to be... That can move fodder. Jude Bellingham can move the high rate of fodder. So like my 88s that I bought, I'm okay with just lazy listing. I'm waiting for a Jude Bellingham player of the month and the icon SBC. Upgrade SBC, live ultimate team friendly. Okay, so 
that is expected content and yeah hopefully our fodder does good tomorrow i'm gonna keep doing these 83s it's an easy way to make 50 to 100 000 coins probably even more if you just keep doing it all day every 100 sales that's 25k if i can sell 200 cards that's 50 000 coins it's not that hard to sell 200 cards in one day if you're just casually relisting them just keep listing it's really easy to buy them for 900 just going throughout your day just hit relist all relist all relist all and list them before content if you list your cards like 45 50 minutes before content drop list your 83s for like 1300 maybe 1400 coins you'll get a good amount of sales because that like 10 minute window after content because you don't know, list up for one hour your cards are going to be popping up while most people are trying to craft the SBC. so you can get a lot of sales if you list a card a little bit higher than what they go for it, we're talking with fodder so definitely list up your cards before content and that is it guys any questions let me know in the comment section down below my trading discord my twitch live stream description down below thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace